This is me providing calcium to my birds. First thing is that is ground up um, eggshells. I just uh, I feed my birds minced hard boiled eggs on a regular basis and I just save the shells when I peel them. I throw them all in here in a paper bag and I take a hard thing like this thermos or a glass jar or glass and um, I grind them up. Um, they don't have to be like super fine or anything. The, the point is just to make them small enough so that they, you know, there's enough to go around for everybody. One bird doesn't run off with the whole eggshell and leave everybody else in the dust. Okay, so here's how I do this. This is fine sand. Um, I believe that in spite of the fact that they hold their seeds, they still need some grit. And if you give them the choice, they'll take the very fine sand. So one quarter part fine sand. Um, sorry. Where's my tablespoon? No, okay. Then I need, uh, this here is Epsom salt, which is not salt at all, but actually magnesium salt. And I'll take a nice, little scoop and sprinkle that in there. Um, it kind of comes in big chunks, but you know, they don't need a huge amount of it. It's kind of a trace mineral type of thing. So um, I put that in there because they need magnesium to process calcium. And then we have good old calcium carbonate. Um, this is, I've forgotten where I got this but I swore I'd never do it again due to energy um, because they charge way too much. Any old calcium um, carbonate will do. You don't have to get fancy schmancy stuff, but I kept the bag because it's, um, I can seal it tightly and it keeps it fresh. Whereas the other stuff that I get tends to come in a brown paper bag type of thing um, that usually breaks open during shipping and whatever makes a big mess. So I get like five pounds of it at a time. So I put one part, um, sand and I'm going to put two parts calcium carbonate ish a little bit more okay that's enough of that and then I'm gonna have to put this down while I put the eggshells in I may run out of room in my little container here Okay, my container is definitely too small. So, let me get a bigger one. Okay, now there's a lot of people that will make, um, you know, add, um, what do you call it? plaster of Paris and make blocks out of this and put it on a wire and go through all this kind of craziness. First of all, there's um, some debate as to the health of eating plaster of Paris because it has silicates in it, which are small crystals of glass. Um, and we don't need to be digesting glass. So people use it, say that it doesn't hurt anything. I'm not willing to take the chance. Um, so, I don't put any plaster of Paris in it. I don't bother to pour it into cups and put all the little things in it anymore because it's way too much work. I leave it in this powdered form. They have a ceramic bowl in each and every cage. And I take and put a spoonful in the bowl. And they got everything they need. So that is how I handle my calcium. And they eat it and they're happy. They often will pick all the eggshells out of it first and then go back and eat the rest later, but that's fine. Um, uh, the magnesium piece, the um, Epsom salts, 
do not need a lot. It's a trace mineral. Um, it comes in kind of big chunks, and I'm okay with that because, uh, you know, they'll chew it up and play with it themselves if they need to. Um, they also get magnesium from the seeds that they eat um, and other dietary sources, but um, I like to add just a little bit because, like vitamin D, they need the magnesium to process the calcium. So I like to give them the opportunity to get a little extra. So that is how I handle um, calcium for my birds.